Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, really, really excited about this beer review. Um, we are checking out a beer from, I think it's a newer brewery out of uh, Herndon, Virginia, I do believe. It is Aslan Brewing Company, or Aslan Brewing. Um, this beer is Orange Starfish. Uh, 5.7% alcohol by volume, India Pale Ale, um, brewed with Citra and Galaxy. Uh, this is obviously a Hill Farmstead growler. Um, I guess in Virginia there's no laws about um, growler filling. In, in California you can't, um, there's these weird laws about growler fills and you can only fill growlers at breweries that have the same shape and color growler and you have to like tape the name and all that good stuff and most most breweries in California will not fill other people's growlers but um, and because of the, the weird laws or whatever, but apparently that's not a problem in Virginia. So um, I got to give a huge shout out to my buddy David who sent this beer. Um, he sent me a bunch of Aslan beers and I'm really, really excited about them. Um, everyone knows with my reviews, my love for New England style beers. And I had started seeing talks on Facebook, different beer trading pages, and even the Treehouse page. People were talking about these guys and uh, I think it was Jay who had mentioned it. Um, said they were brewing awesome, awesome beer. So really, really looking forward um, to this beer. Like I said, I think they're fairly new. I don't know how long they've been. I, I want to say it's only been like a year or so. Like, someone will correct me if I'm wrong um, on that. But big shout out to Jeff at Aslan. Um, I had, there's, if you look at their website, um, there's not a whole lot of information on their beers. They'll tell you what's on tap, but the, it doesn't tell you a lot of um, what the beers are brewed with and all that good stuff. So I'd reached out to him on Twitter and just asked a couple questions and he was so kind and you know sat and kind of chatted back and forth and gave me a bunch of information on the beers that I got. So thank you so much for doing that, which is kind of, it just reminded me of how awesome um, these guys who work at these breweries and brew these beers are. There's so many killer um, people that are, they're so kind and they'll reach out to you on social media. They'll answer questions, they'll respond to posts. Um, it's just, it's cool as, you know, people who, you know, us, the consumer who are spending our hard earned money on, you know, their beer or trying to acquire their beer, um, that they take the time to do that. There's a lot of, there's a lot of breweries and I know everyone's busy and, you know, not everyone has time to answer questions, but a lot of times with, with batches of beer from breweries, something will be off or something will be wrong. And, you know, you ask about it and you never hear anything back. And it just kind of bums me out when that happens. So, um, all you guys who take the time to respond to people who ask questions and interact with people who are buying your beer, that is huge. I don't think you guys realize how awesome that is for us. So um, if you can find the time to do that, keep doing it because it, it really, really helps. I find myself recommending and, and telling people to trade for beers. A lot of times, I mean, if I, li if I like the beer based on the people, the way they act, like it's, it's just, it's pretty killer with social media these days, how many people will actually take the time to respond and, and reach out and all that good stuff. So cheers to all of you that do that. So yeah, um, looking forward to this one. It's been a long weekend. <laughs> I was out of town. Uh, it's funny, like I had talked about, oh, we're not gonna take, you know, days in between uploads and then some stuff comes up and you have to leave town and I've been gone for four days and um, just got back this afternoon and I'm ready for a beer. So what better, uh, what better beer than orange starfish? I've, um, heard some awesome things about this. It's pretty, it's 5.7%. They're calling it an IPA. I don't know if it's more like a pale ale or what the deal is, but, um, Citra and galaxy, you cannot go wrong with that. So yeah, without any further ado, um, from what everyone says, Aslan's brewing New England style beer. So, um, I'm super stoked on this. I'd be interested to see anyone who watches this, how many of you have uh, had their beers yet. Like I said, any more information on the on the brewery that you guys want to leave comments and um, down at the bottom, it would be great just because I'll learn more and I don't have to bug people who are busy asking questions. So yeah, let's get into this one. I can smell it already. Uh, yeah, it pours out. It's hazy. It looks like juice. It looks like tangerine juice in this glass. Uh, it might look a little darker on camera, but it's like a vibrant glowing like orange in the glass. Uh, with growlers, they're always filled up all the way to the top, so I, I never really pour them super aggressive, but there's just, there was like a little, you know, bright white film of uh, just kind of soapy bubbles around the side, but um, yeah, it looks absolutely killer in the glass. It looks like a New England style IPA. You cannot see my finger through that. It is opaque. Um, it's got that juice looking um, appearance, so 5.7%. Uh, there's not, you know, I mean, there's a little bit of alcohol legs. You wouldn't really expect it for an under 6% beer, but 
Um, on a day like today, we just got back into town, it's 87 degrees, so it's warm out in the garage. Um, something like this, just I'm really, really looking forward to. So like I said, I could smell that as soon as I open it. So let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Wow, so that is just immediately, immediately, first thing I'm reminded of is the first time I smelled Julius. It is just oranges for days. It is so much orange. It's orange juice, it's orange peel, it's citrus, it's so much citrus. But it's got like this awesome like tropical fruit thing underneath all that. It's like, it's like if you were to blend oranges and like tropical fruits like pineapples or peaches and just like mix those together it, this almost it's like i think i had mentioned it when i talked when i first reviewed julius um if you guys ever drank those orange julius smoothies um at the mall back in the eight they might still have them i've been to a mall in for literally forever um it smells like that it's oranges it's tangerines it is it's like pineapples it's peaches it's those sweet like tropical fruits that you get from from galaxy but it's so it's like citra for days it's it's so much orange. I mean, it's called orange starfish. It's super, super, super oranges. It's got like this killer, like herbaceous thing underneath all the oranges, but there's no, I mean, it's just a showcase of hops. It's crazy. There's no, I'm not getting any kind of like bready malts, nothing. It's just citrus hops, tropical fruit. It's crazy how good this smells. It is just like jumping out of the glass. It's it, like I said, it's billowing, it's bursting. It's very, very uh, aromatic. Especially for an under 6% beer. It's insane how these guys do this. So yeah, I am uh, I'm salivating. David, thanks so much for sending this. Um, I am really, really looking forward to uh, our first Aslan beer. So cheers. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's so good. That is so soft. If you were to give this to me blind, I wouldn't say it was an IPA. I would say this is some kind of like New England, just pale ale. So, so soft. Um, but it is just, it, the taste follows the nose. It's oranges for days. It's oranges, it's tangerine, um, it's citrus. There's like, it's, it's, how can I say this without, I'm trying to figure out, use my words. There's a bitterness, but it's like a super soft bitterness. Um, it's like that white kind of pithy orange part underneath the peel, but it's not like a lot of times with that, it can get like really bitter and like acidic. It's not that it's like, I don't know. It's so soft. Um, it's like drinking orange juice mixed with like pineapple juice and peaches and tangerines. And like, there's like just an awesome bitterness. It just kind of sits on your tongue for a second, goes right away. It's like, like that lemon zest kind of a thing. Um, very vibrant, very, very zesty, just, but it's, it's fruit juice. It's crazy. This does not taste like beer. This is really, really, really good. I mean, under 6%, this is ridiculously drinkable. You could crush these. Um, like I said, it's 87 degrees here today, which is pretty hot for North County, San Diego. Um, and I will have no problem pouring myself another glass of this and finishing it. My wife will love this. Um, stupid, stupid, drinkable, um, amazing, amazing stuff. It's like an orange, like, what were the, like the 50-50 bars? Remember 50-50 bars? They were like oranges with like that vanilla. It was like orange, like orange, um, it's like a popsicle that had like that vanilla ice cream. It's not so much vanilla-y, but it just reminds me of like a 50-50 bar or like one of those orange creamsicles or something with like the ice cream in the middle of it. It's insane. <laughs> this is really, really good. Um, it's... They're calling it an IPA, which kind of makes it hard to grade just because it doesn't drink like an IPA. It drinks more like a pale ale. Um, but this is freaking amazing. I love this. This is this is what I like. It's that fruit juice, um, super, it just citrus, um, just a, it's super soft, really clean, um, finishes. It's not like a bone dry finish, but it finishes dry. It makes you just want to keep sipping on it. Ridiculously easy drinking, um, amazing stuff from Aslan. So as far as a grade for me, this is like, I want to I want to grade it like a pale ale so um, it's like I mean I would drink this every single day this is ridiculously good um, I'd go like 96 97 somewhere around there I just I kind of want to sit let it warm up a little bit and drink it but it's gonna be in that 96 97 range like a plus amazing amazing stuff so um, this was the lowest ABV beer that I got from David 
Um, so I wanted to drink this one first. So I'm really, really looking forward to the other beers that I have. So we'll drink those the rest of this week and I'll going to try and upload a video on all those um, every day this week. So uh, yeah, looking forward to those. So yeah, if you guys have never had Aslan beer, seek it out. You people in Virginia who are looking for like New England juice bombs, check out this brewery. Amazing, amazing stuff. So um, I'm out of here, guys. I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, like I said, if you've had any Aslan beers, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, and always, as, as always, thanks so much for the likes, for the new subscribes. Everyone who comments, all that good stuff. Really, really appreciate you guys watching. So I'm out of here, guys. Uh, until next time, I'll see you. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.